So in this video, I'm gonna show the details of making this Fuse C. First, I modeled it in Fusion. You can see I'll make a pocket. I'll come in and drill these two holes, and then I'll make another pocket here. And you'll see in Fusion, you can simulate. So this is what the operations are gonna look like. You'll see them really doing them in a minute. But you can see you come in there to drill the pocket. So coming over the mill, first thing I do is use a probe to find out, find that center. So it's the same as my setup. And this was the pocket operation, coming down with a 3 h inch end mill, coming down now, center drill, and then drilling. And you can see here that small pocket uh, being cut in the end of the fuse C. So this gives you all the size of that fuse C it's done. And now what I've done is inserted a shaft and turned that between centers on the lathe to get the OD down to the right size. So now you know it's gonna run true. I get that OD uh, just in there like I like it. And you can see here is putting the taper on. So this taper is done by using the compound on the uh, lathe. So you come in at the angle you want. What this does is it removes most of the material of that fuse C before we go in and we're gonna cut that angle. And there's a little bit of trick to doing that. And here see, you see that trick. So i am got this on a Sureline lathe. I've got a reverse cut on that. Uh, but basically uh, that thing is pivoted and it's pivoted on the radius that's shown on the drawing. And you see, I use that DICOM to see when everything goes away, and then I got my curve. Coming here with a very small 172 tap. You can see I use that small end so you don't break it, because you do not want to break that tap in that part. This is a trick for cutting the threads. You remove that cross slide, I put in there, DICOM, and it's set up at 14 threads per inch, and you can see me manually moving that lathe and pushing on that. When you remove that thread, you can literally slide that in there. So the pressure of my hand, but it will follow the 14 threads per inch. And you just keep cutting. That cutter is a custom made cutter that I made uh, to get the right uh, slot in there for the uh, line. You can see now with a file, very carefully clean it up because you will get some chatter the way I do this. Moved it over to Sherline lathe uh, to get it polished. Now there's a line hole that's tricky because it's at an angle. So you see me coming down with a 1 16th end mill and get that thing started and then follow up with the drill once you got a pilot and a flat space. Once that's all done, now it's about cutting the shaft uh, for, for the fuse C that's gonna go in the clock frame. So this is getting this down to the right diameter for the bearings. And once I have that, you'll see it's about putting that uh, key, the key slot in there, the key way. You can see this is fusion, what the operation will look like. And then you can see I use a V-block to get this thing, you know, nice and aligned in the chuck and come down with that operation. And it does a super job of cutting that square. And this is the end product. You can see I've got uh, the shaft in there. That shaft is just Loctited. Um, I'm gonna fix the back end with a slot to hold all the uh, ratchet and uh, the great wheel on. But this is how you build a fusee. Hope you liked it.